This is Barry, and I'm sharing my life with the world. I guess this is still a public street. I now call this the road to nowhere. As you will soon find out, and a quarter of a century ago, I used to drive down this street every night, and I went right through where there's now a freeway to the other side where I had several newspaper customers once upon a time ago. Can't go through there anymore. Unless you're Buckaroo Bonsai. I don't think they even tore up the road. The road is still underneath there somewhere. Time keeps on slipping into the future. That's a beautiful pecan tree on the corner of this lot. Years ago, there used to be a house here. I think it was painted green and white. The freeway is not too bad noisy. You can hear the birds singing their peaceful songs. so relaxing here. I bet you this pecan tree makes really tasty pecans. The owner of this lot quite frequently comes by to keep the grass cut. On Sunday mornings when the newspapers were late, by the time I got into this area, the sun would already be up. After a stressful night of doing that, I would come back through this area on the way home and I would sometimes stop here and walk around and it's just a peaceful little spot that I would enjoy for a few minutes before going on to the house. One Sunday morning, I stopped by here to take a short stroll through here. And on the ground beside this burn pile, I found a little piece of aluminum about the size of a credit card. And to my surprise, it was an old Chrysler Corporation CERTA card. The CERTA card had the vehicle identification number, or VIN, at the top. The next line down had the option codes. I remember seeing some of these. My uncle had a 1967 Plymouth with one of these. I also once had a boss that had a beautiful 1966 Cornet that had one of these still. I think they only used these in the 1960s, but after doing a little research, I read that these CERTA cards for 1964 and 1965 were plastic and they came in the glove box. The 1966 and 1967 was changed to aluminum and placed in a special holder that was in the engine bay. In 1968 the CERTA cards were also aluminum but that year they placed them in a pouch in the owner's manual in the glove box. That was the last year they used these 
so they only made the aluminum ones for three years. I thought it was kind of unusual to find this just laying on the ground. I was thinking to myself, I wonder what kind of a car this card represents. So I did more research to try to decode the information on the card. What I found is that this was a 1966 Chrysler low price class four-door sedan with a 383 engine, 325 horsepower, one four-barrel eight-cylinder. The car came from the Jefferson, Detroit, Michigan assembly plant and it was car number 97,242 in the assembly line and on the option codes it says it came with a torque flight three-speed automatic transmission, a standard rear axle, and the color was desert beige. I wonder if she still exists. We may never know. I tried to take a decent picture of this Serta card, and it's still kind of hard to make out some of the letters and numbers, so I thought I would just put it up here for those of you who are Mopar experts that would like to look into this. Out of curiosity, I wasn't able to figure out the code for the rear end geared ratio and I couldn't figure out what the interior code was. A deer recently strolled through here. I'm not sure what this is. It looks kind of like brass. Maybe it's an old urn, perhaps, to hold somebody's ashes. Something like that. This reminds me of a cistern that I saw years ago, galvanized steel water tank called a cistern that had an aluminum collar on the opening looked a lot like this. A long time ago, people would use rainwater catchment from their roof to fill a cistern tank to supply water to their house. Some people still do that these days. This looks like some sort of ceramic or pottery antique sculpture. I'm not sure what this is or what it looked like originally with the rest of its body. Maybe somebody out there knows what this is. I wonder if these old seat springs came from that old 66 Chrysler or some kind of an old car. Must be some kind of old toy. Some really old looking cinder blocks.
Oh, I'm not sure what I'm standing on here, but this feels kind of hollow underneath there. I wonder if this is an old well or something. I wonder what this old metal plate's covering. It may be a septic tank underneath there. I should better be careful that I won't fall into something. Whoa, somebody left the air conditioner running with the door open. Back there to the right of the counter is the bathroom. This is a cozy little cabin. A dream home for one or two people. Under this pecan tree is such a peaceful spot to sit here in a chair or on the porch watching the cars go by in the distance on the freeway. I'll let this go a little while sitting under this tree to let you dream about living here in this beautiful little tiny home cabin on this beautiful little lot. Just relaxing away, enjoying the shade of this pecan tree. Thank you for watching.